Can you see me? Yes. Hi. Today's lesson is on nonfiction text features. And I know that when Ella and Rebecca proofread the packet, they had some questions about what a nonfiction text feature is. Anybody have anything they want to tell me about what a nonfiction text feature is? Adam. Not you forgot. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Isn't it like italics and those are two examples of nonfiction text features, yes. Does that Meg's, do Meg's examples help anybody with one? Yes, sir. Uh, maybe it has to do something with nonfiction information. Yep, it has something to do with nonfiction text information. What's another word for uh, nonfiction text features? What's another uh, word for features? Mm. Like features as in like for the phone features, it has this amount of gigabytes and stuff, like how, like how much stuff kind of it has. How much stuff or, but what's a synonym, another word for features? Oh, yes, sir. Categories? Categories could be, but I'm looking for something a little more specific. Extra stuff? Extra stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's, okay, um, uh, come up here, sir. A feature of this gentleman is oh I know uh, his nose short hair <laughs> short dark hair uh, white sneakers um, smile uh, plays hockey uh, so what so what are those what would, what do we call those uh, <laughs> not extra stuff um can you come on up here. These two people share a feature. <gasps> Striped shirt. Duh, Striped shirt. Darn. And what do you call that? What's what do you often call that in math when we do this activity in math with the comparing, comparing or attribute blocks? Do you remember the attribute blocks? Uh, Thick, thin. They're describing words. Attributes, characteristics, features. Yes, sir. parts. Parts. Thank you, you two. Thank you for <laughs> demonstrating for me. So we're going to be looking at text features today, and I have these lovely posters. And text features include things. Oh, and in your magazine, you have to consciously, intentionally have at least 10 of these in your magazine. A title page, a table of contents, contents an index, glossary, subtitle, heading, subheading, Keywords, guide, word, guide words, text box, timeline, illustrations and photographs, captions, diagrams, labels, maps, charts and graphs, icon, bullets. These are not all the text features in the world. Page numbers is one too. But you might go, well, what is a text feature? How am I going to find it out? Well, guess what? We have this handy dandy set of posters, which includes each of the text feature words. On their, own paper. on their own paper with an example and a definition. So bullets, small symbols at the beginning of lines to show a list. So important dolphin words, pod, calf, cow, and the bullets right in front of it. Sometimes they're bullets, little round dots, sometimes they're squiggly lines, sometimes they're dashes, sometimes they're arrows. Some stars. stars. Yeah. Is that kind of like a table of contents, the first one? What makes this not be a table of contents? Great question. Why is this not a table of contents, though? Because it isn't labeled table of contents? No. Nope. Yes, sir? Um, because it's not, it doesn't have, like, page numbers. It doesn't have the page numbers. The table of contents tells you what page number it's on. No page numbers, no table of contents. Guide words. You often find these on reference books like dictionaries, the sources, encyclopedias. They're words at the top of the page that tell you the first and last topic on the page. And they're alphabetical. Porpoise, sleeping. So all the PQRSs would be in here. Be from here, and the last one here would be sleeping. Text box. A separate box of text. This says test. It means text. What's text? Go ahead, my friend. Oh. What? Um, text is a bunch of sentences. A bunch of sentences, just a bunch of words. It's a fancy 
word for words. Text is just words. So the text box is just a little sidebar, little box on the side that has some other interesting That's information. Like, you know, kind of. like a did you know? Yep. Timeline. A line that shows the orders that happened in the order of the time. Sometimes they go horizontal and sometimes they're vertical. Rarely would they be diagonal. I can't even think of a reason that they'd be diagonal. So this one would look cool. This one starts around 600 BCE and ends the last date on it is 1960s and goes this way. It's about dolphins and humans. Why are all the, all after the these have the been um, after I do all the lessons, I am going to put these all up in the room or make a book out of them. I haven't decided which. Uh, illustrations and photographs. That's pretty easy. Pictures that illustrate the text. Now, if you were doing a report about dolphins, are you going to have a picture of a dinosaur in it? Yeah, no. Unless it's a dolphin's ancient ancestor. Bingo! Excellent. Yes. It ha the, the illustrations have to match the text, have to help you understand the text better. Captions. Oh. Yes, sir. They are like uh, one sentence under a picture that tells you what's happening in the picture. Right? Yep, it could or be a, a sentence. It can be a word like... Whoosh. Dolphin. Dolphin. Swimming. Dinosaur. Or it could be a short paragraph. Or just a couple of words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Diagram. That's a, and you've been doing these, I know, since first and second grade. It's a drawing that's labeled. It shows the parts of something or how something works. You've all been doing those. I know every single one at Montessori or at ASA. You've been doing those. Did you do these in Canada? I didn't go to school in Canada. You've only been to school here? Uh, or no. Or Old Town, I mean. Oh, yeah, oh Old Town. But you did these in Old Town. How about you? Did you do diagrams in Brazil? Once, so see, you've been doing, doing them before. diagrams at Montessori. Yep. Okay. So diagrams, you all should know. Labels. Words that identify the parts of a drawing or a photograph. Isn't that the same thing as a diagram? It's really close to the same things, but not exactly. Because it identifies the parts, but it doesn't necessarily tell them how they work. I will look for a more... Sp oh, the diagram... Here what it is. The diagram is this whole thing, a labeled picture. Oh, and those are just... Uh, and the labels are just, uh, it's the name of the words. That's just to show the labels, not the other Yeah, part. the whole thing is called a diagram. This is the part of the diagram called oh. the label. Oh. Okay. So if you have a diagram, you have to have labels. That would get you two of the ten nonfiction oh. text features. Yeah. Oh. oh. You have Here. to have at least ten, which means... You can have below ten, but you can have ten or more. You can't have below 10, but you can have 10 or more. Good answer. A map. Ooh, of where they live. That's this is where they live, but you could have a map of... That's not a lot. <laughs> Charts and graphs. Use the organizing data, making it visual for your reader. It could be any kind of chart or graph. It could be a line plot, a stem and leaf plot, for those of you who have learning that in math class. It could be pie charts. It could be pictographs. It can be tally charts. Pictographs. What are pictographs? Good question. Are they the um, graphs where like there's a dot and then that goes down? And there's a that's a line. No, yeah, that's, that's a line, line graph. graph. Oh. A I pictograph. <laughs> a pictograph. Sometimes they're called glyphs. Oh, hieroglyphics. It's a picture or a symbol. So if I was going to do the number of books, a chart with the number of books that people in room 39 have read. Instead of putting numbers or tally marks, I would say one book equals five books, and oh, I have a picture things. of a book. Oh. Yeah. And you could do like yes. one, yeah. two, three, and a half. Oh, like yep. five books would equal 25 books. Could be, yeah. So an icon is a small picture that signals important information or action. So an icon would be, you would repeat throughout all your um, text feature. Mm. Um, so like on the computer, we use icons to say, this is the to how to start up Chrome, or this is how to get to Google, Google Drive. Like Those are emoticons. Those are not icons. It's a different, a different emoji. Okay. Title page, the beginning page that tells the name of the book, who wrote it, and who published it. Celia Dolphin? <laughs> yeah. No, Cita Delphin, which is the Latin name for dolphins. What's the publisher? Maris Wine. 
press. I don't know what that might mean. Okay, here's table of contents and my friend over there who was con questioned oh, about... Oh, it has numbers and dots go into the numbers for each thing. Does it have to have dots? Uh, no. 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 Why would it have dots? To make it easier for the reader to know which one goes to which number. Yeah. Yeah. Could it or have something line. else? Yeah, it could have a line it or stars. Or, or stars. Arrows. Dots. Because this is dots. about dolphins, what would be kind of cute to have here? Dolphins! Little tiny dolphins. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Like number seven in the middle of them or something? Yeah. Yeah. So, an index. Where's an index? In the back At the of back the of the book. book. Back of the and book. Uh, for an index, the words that are in the index have to be highlighted in the text there. They usually well, are. They don't I thought that was glossary. I thought that was glossary. Glossary. Uh, the glossary. Glossary is the what? The dictionary. The dictionary for the book. The dictionary for the book, yep. And subtitle? Oh, um, oh. Yeah, it's not the title, but it's underneath the title. It's a more focused... Oh, it's like... A uh, so if I was doing an article about dolphins, so my big title would be Dolphins, Their Life and Times, and then I would do introduction, and the introduction would be the subheading. The next part I might do the life cycle of um, dolphins. Baby dolphins are born alive, live births, and so that subheading would be the life cycle of dolphins. This Dolphin food would be another subheading. It's, yes. it, it's the title of a chapter of major section. You can read really does well, each, can't you? Does each subtitle count as one thing? No. You, you can't use ten subtitles and have it <laughs> count as your ten nonfiction features. Heading. The title of a page or section that tells what it's about. Oh, yeah. How dolphin movement. Dolphin movement. Subheading. Oh. Dolphin movement underwater. So subtitle, heading, subheading. And you'll have these all available available to help you. Okay. And keywords are important words about the topic that stand out the page, either in color, boldface, or italic, or a different font. They often are in the glossary and the index also. They also are in the glossary. So today, we have about 20, just under 20 minutes, so you'll start this. This is a scavenger hunt. I am going to give you one magazine, and so you, what I'd like you to do, it doesn't ask for it on the sheet for this scavenger hunt, but I want you to put um, the title of the magazine, so this would be National Geographic Kids, and you could just do NG Kids and then the date, November 2010, at the top, underneath the word scavenger hunt. And then I want you to find the text features, the page number, what is it, and how does it help you. Yes, sir? I remember in second grade in the class, we used to do this, like we used to work with yep. books. Yep. Yep. We so, um, did projects with this in um, second grade, I remember. Yep. Would you pass these out to everybody, please? And after you get your paper, come here, and I will give you your magazine to do this with. And we can cut.